Hey, what's up Crate Nation? My name is Chris Kelly and this is VF Experiments. Today I'm gonna show you how to create the most realistic plants possible. My issue with 3D plants is they usually lack one very important feature, which is the transmission channel. The transmission channel is super important. Anytime a light source is behind the leaf, that's when you're gonna see all those cool little veins and little details. So what I wanna do today is see if we can actually capture that transmission channel with some real leaves and use them with 3D plants. But before I do that, uh, Adrian, collect some leaves. You mean like outside? That's where the bears are. Chris has asked me to cut him a bunch of leaves today. Come to Hollywood, they said. You'll be a star, they said. This is not the life I was promised. And so my idea is I'm gonna take the leaves that Adrian cut, I'm gonna sandwich them between two pieces of acrylic glass. I'm then going to suspend that acrylic glass between two stands. I'm gonna take a photo with the most diffused light possible to capture that front facing image. After that, then I will bring a light source behind the leaf turn off the surrounding lights and we will capture hopefully that transmission channel. After that, I'm just gonna flip everything around and we will capture a photo of the back. That way we have three photos, the front facing, the transmission channel and the back of the leaf. This is all gonna be on a blue screen so we can key it out ideally, but we're also gonna use Photoshop so maybe we'll mask it out. Adrian also was smart enough to take a photo of every plant that he cut a leaf off of. That way we're able to identify them later. All right, this idea has been rooted in my head for a long time. I'm really excited. So I'm I'm gonna leaf right now and get started. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so bad. All right, so we have captured our images. I'm going to send the SD card on over to Adrian, who is then going to mask or key to separate the leaves out from the background. And then I'm also gonna test out the transmission channel to see if it's gonna work. So fingers crossed, let's do this. All right, so here in Photoshop, I have some of the pictures that we just took. This is the, uh, the one with the diffuse lighting and the blue screen. And then I also have the one with the light box behind the leaf. What's this called again, Chris? The transmission. The transmission channel. So just by flipping between those images, we can just look at it and we can verify that they are the same. They do line up. So we did a good job. Um, so let's start by trying to key this out. So I need to come up to the select menu. Where is it? Oh. Select color range, pick some of the blue, and I'm just gonna turn up my fuzziness a lot and make sure it's inverted so that my background is black. My foreground is white. And once I have that selection all selected, I'm gonna click this button down here to make a layer mask. And if I push Alt and click on that, then it's gonna show us what our mask actually looks like. This is just a black and white image, which represents the transparency of the leaf. We can fix the edges up super easily with the dodge and burn tools. And then once that's done, we can use the polygonal lasso tool, roughly mask around the leaf. I will right click on that, click select inverse. We're gonna change our paint bucket color to black. And then if we just hit alt delete, that'll fill in everything around the edges with black. Uh, so this is actually finished. This is gonna become our opacity map or our alpha mat. Whoop, whoop, alpha mat. Alpha mat. Whoop, whoop. Next, for the uh, for the diffuse color, I want to select all of this outside stuff. What I'm doing here is I just want to fill in the background with something besides uh, this transparency because I don't want it to end up showing up as like a dark edge or something. I could paint this. I could just uh, select some green and use the paintbrush tool. Where is it? Do you know Photoshop? Uh, yes, it's <laughs> above the stamp. I could just use a paintbrush and just color in the background green, or I could just right click and come down to fill and hit content aware fill. <laughs> so it doesn't really look like a leaf anymore, but basically all you wanted to do is have something else in the edge besides transparency or pure black or whatever. So that'll do. And then with the transmission channel, I really just want to do the exact same thing. Uh, I can hear you zooming. All right, those are all done. My part here is finished. I can send them off to Chris and he'll show you where to go from there because I 
Still don't really know myself. Whip hand. This is working. This is great. Okay, so David actually went ahead and built out some 3D models of the leaves. So we have 3D models all set up. We've got the bump map, we've got the specular map, we have most importantly the transmission map, and we have the diffuse map. So we have all those together. Um, they'll be ready for you to download, so check the description below. I haven't actually tested out the transmission channel yet. I just have these leaves sitting right here and I have this glowing orb behind it. You can't see it right now. So I'm gonna turn that on. Yes, that's working out really well. So I've got all my maps working together. And most importantly, I have the transmission channel and it's actually functioning. So you can see light coming from behind these leaves. I'm using Cinema 4D and Octane Render. Octane is very, very powerful and very fun to use. Uh, for Octane, if you're an Octane user, I'm using just mixed material. I'm using one glossy and one specular. The specular material has a transmission channel and that's where I plug it in. And then I just balance between the two of those. And uh, these are the results that I get. All right, everyone, so we built out the maps and the 3D models. I think everything is working the way we want it to be, but just to do one final test for that transmission channel, let's, uh, let's test it out right now. Come on. <laughs> Give me a sec, guys. There it is. Oh yeah, those are looking real nice. So if you want to download these leaves, check the links down below, and we'll see you for the next VFX pyramids. Get out of your ball. <laughs> cool. Perfect.